Hello there and welcome back to another video, the first video in a while. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your GUI buttons look 3D like this, give them a little shadow underneath. I'm doing this just because I saw a comment on my other scripting video with someone asking me how to do this, so this video is for this person. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to make a screen GUI in your starter GUI folder. Make sure you name all of your objects in Workspace something that you can actually find later. Uh, let's say I'm making another main menu GUI. Once you have this, just go ahead and insert a frame. We're going to call this the main frame. And you just want to scale this across your whole screen. Make sure you're using scale and not offset. And then just make it transparent, change background transparency to one. Okay, and in the main frame, you want to add your text button like this and customize it how you want. Button. If you want your text to be as big as this, then I'd recommend you just check text scaled. Okay, so once you have your ugly 2D button, what you want to do is you want to make sure you have the Randify plugin installed. If you don't, you can just go to your toolbox, click on plugins and search up Randify and then just get that there. So your button, click on it in your workspace and then press Randify. You shouldn't need to change any of this, so just click Randify and let's just call this Randify. You're probably going to notice your text has disappeared. This is purely because your image that you've generated has been put in front of your text in terms of layers. To change this, all we need to do is go down to Zindex and just set this image to zero. And basically that puts it behind this text here in terms of its layers. You want to then copy this Randify image you've generated. Control C, Control V, or not. There we go. Make sure it's in your button like that and just call it, I don't know, Randify Shadow. And then what you want to do is change the image color to something darker. And finally, you want to quickly change up the Zindex again. Okay, now grab your shadow and just drag it down a bit. I am so special. There you go, as you can see it now has the shadow just like all of these buttons here okay that's it for our video today if you enjoyed and this helped you out make sure to leave a like also if you want to see more tutorials and videos in general then make sure you subscribe to the channel but i will see everyone in the next video bye